I had a couple favorite teachers. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Shidiche was my second grade teacher, and there's actually a haiku uh, dedicated to her in the new book because she was the one, I was afraid of writing when I was a kid because I made so many spelling mistakes. And I hated that feeling of feeling like inadequate or dumb or whatever. And I felt dumb, that wasn't nice. And um, so Mrs. Shidiche taught us how to write poetry. And I remember where I was sitting in her classroom when she came and read a poem I had written about my cat. And I saw, and we had this great little conversation this is a very long time ago, but I can still remember what it felt like that I had communicated with words to this teacher that I love what my cat was, that in that moment I became a writer. I, so years ago, um, I was probably about two, 10, 12 years ago, I was invited to give a big speech in Syracuse, New York, my hometown. And um, I, I thought this is my only opportunity, right? And I thought all my mom's friends who used to go to her hairdresser would be there, like 12 people, 6,000 people in the Civic Center. This is why we over-prepare to give a speech. And I, so it was just kind of my love song to Syracuse. And I mentioned Mr. Procopio, because Mr. Pro I was, my high school years were really fraught with a lot of pain and I was a mess. But Mr. Procopio, I was telling them in my Allen speech was that teacher who saw me didn't, didn't ask what was going on, but just I felt so loved and supported by that man. And I talked about that, and somebody in the audience shouted out, he's here. And Mr. Pro and his friends, and Mr. He was like on the verge of retiring, right? And Mr. Procopio, his friends made him stand up. And Mr. Procopio got a standing ovation from 6,000 people in that auditorium. And all teachers deserve that standing ovation the teachers who see students and love them with their whole hearts, even as they're holding them to the necessary standards. That's what he did for me. I love that man.